What's up everybody? This is all real here. As you can see, I got me a new microphone, so please bear with me if the sound is uh you know, not what you're used to hearing. Um you know, but of course, you know, I hope it's better. <laughs> yeah, I just got this um uh, like a couple days ago, but um yeah, welcome to another episode of the ra of <laughs> when I say the wrap up. Welcome to another uploading schedule video for April 29th um 2013 the, the last one for the month um you know as you as is with these videos I let you guys know everything that I've done since the last uploading schedule video and I let you guys know you know when my days off are so you can so you you can know when to check back for new content on my channel as well as let you guys know what I will be doing throughout this week so let's get started what's what have I done since the last uploading schedule video well I reviewed the final cards in judgment of the light um, which was exceed reversal you guys can check that out um, I reviewed a couple cards that came in well that were supposed to be some type of some some uh TCG exclusives but they ended up being in a like an an OCG uh export pack you know called the extra pack uh sword of knights i believe that's what it was called i review mecha phantom beast turtle tracer and try fortress ops Try Fortress Ops. Finally got that name packed. <laughs> um, and also I review the two, well, like the final two cards that were on the list for the out of V Jump promos, which was Hail Centipede and uh, Galaxy Dragon. So of course you guys can check all those reviews on the Yu-Gi-Oh 101 card review slash archetype review playlist that is up on my channel feel free to check that out um also i did a and off the agenda completely off the agenda i didn't really have any plans you know saying like preset to do this but i did a Yu-Gi-Oh 101 discretion vid on the natural growth of the game the reason why I did that video because all like what made me want to do that video was because um sometime last week uh it, it was this article that was released and it was and the, the guy that created it you know what I'm saying like he plays Yu-Gi-Oh or whatever and he was speaking on how the usefulness of cards such as Dark Hole and Torrential Tribute were you know not as useful as they once were and he even went to far like he even went as far as saying that you know like basically you know saying the like those kind of cards suck in the game now because what he did was that he had gave these lists of decks that had all of these what ways to you know not be affected he gave a list I'm sorry <laughs> he gave a list of all these decks that have cards that can you know like protect monsters from those kind of cards such as Dark Hole and you know like um uh, Torrential Tribute and you know and the reason why I made that video was just to let people know that hey you really shouldn't listen to guys like this when they tell you that those kind of cards aren't useful anymore or they're losing their usefulness i mean of course you know it's the natural growth of the game and certain cards won't be as useful as they once were and certain cards will be you know more useful than they once were when they were first introduced into the game you know and i also gave some examples in that video as well and basically in the video i was letting you you guys know that it's the same thing I've been telling you on these type of videos that I've been doing for like a couple years now. It's not what you use is how you use it. You can't use the same thing 
in the same way after a certain point. And, oh man, forgive me, something felt like it was crawling on my eye or whatever. But, um, yeah, and, you know, sound like that's pretty much it. So, I really encourage anybody who's into Yu-Gi-Oh! to really check out that video. You know, like those Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 um, uh, discussion videos are meant to open up discussion. And I want to know what you guys think of you know that article which I did post underneath the video in, in the video description so you guys can check it out and you can see for yourself um, you know just to open up some dialogue within the, within the community do you think these cards still have some uses or whatever or what have you and you know you know something like what do you think of the article uh, so that's basically what that video is about that was enough of that and of course I did more gameplay footage of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Echoes of Time I finally got past a little roadblock I was in and I progressed into the game and now we have four characters now I went and I recruited a I can't remember the name of that class but but, but you know what I'm saying like it was that little short guy you know what I'm saying with the spear I finally you know added one of those people to my team and now I maxed out at four characters so Right now, you know, we're trying to progress into the game while trying to level up that character. So, you know, like it's some pretty fun things going on right now. So I encourage everybody to watch those vids. Um, and, of course, we did the Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 Fan Day on Dueling Network. Um, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it this, uh, you know, on that Friday. Uh, it happened because, you know, Dueling Network got hacked. And, you know, they, and like... It, it wasn't allowed it wasn't allowing anybody to log in at the time and you know f but but they did get it up and running and I was able to do dueling network on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro um on that last video for that fan day I was going to tell you that I was moving Yu-Gi-Oh Pro over to I mean I was going to tell you that I was use I was moving Yu-Gi-Oh 101 fan day over to Yu-Gi-Oh Pro this week <laughs> but the video it had cut off a lot sooner than I thought it would so that part didn't get heard so yeah but I'm gonna speak on that later on so um yeah so this week is a very very short week my manager completely fucked up the schedule and he only has me on two work days you know you know something like normally I would only be well normally I would be working you know like three or, or or even you know sound like four days at a time uh you know at uh, you know like in a row and you know this time he just completely fucked up the schedule and he's gonna fix it next week so next week i might not have as much time as i have this week um I, i'm gonna be off um f from what things are looking right now i will be off tuesday to saturday Tuesday all the way to Saturday, I'm going to be off. And that leaves a shit ton of time for me to catch up on, you know what I'm saying, like, um, Echoes of Time, which I've been, you know, like like I've mentioned before, it's a game that I actually like, and I'm interested in playing it. I just haven't had the time to, you know, invest in those hours so I can give you guys more videos to watch. But, you know, the way things are looking, you know, I have a new class that I'm already ahead of you know online so I did all that work so that's good f you know what I'm saying until next week I'm good until next week so I literally have nothing to do for those you know five days that I'm off so it that's just gonna be straight gameplay from Tuesday to Saturday just straight gameplay I need to catch up and try to catch up on, you know, like the gameplay footage that I missed out, you know, saying like in the previous weeks because I wasn't able to deliver as much as I had wanted to. So now this will seem like the perfect time to do that. So you guys will see a shit ton of new video game footage this week. I mean, a shit ton. Uh, of course, all of it is live commentary. So you guys won't just be sitting there just looking at the, you know, vid without having some type of activity going on you know with me and my commentary so that's something else so what do I have planned for this week um, of course I just mentioned you know you know Final Fantasy I will be playing that all through this week um, you know from Tuesday to Saturday I'm gonna be just playing that um, 
there are going to be some new Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 card reviews. For now, the only one that seems to be, like the only new card that seems to be uh, confirmed as a TGC exclusive is um, Fire Fist Coyote. And that's a card that, that I did not review the yet, uh, yet. So I will be doing that video this week. Um, and of course, any if any new T TCG exclusives get, you know, confirmed, I will also be, you know, like doing, you know, uh, vids on those. <sighs> Sip my drink, and um, <laughs> yeah. So, new Yu-Gi-Oh 101 video is coming up. Uh. The Echoes of Time and Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. This is uh, let me see. It's going to be on the third, third Friday. So May third, this Friday, Yu-Gi-Oh 101 Fan Day will be on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro this week. Um, I will be moving like all, pretty much all of the decks that I use for the Yu-Gi-Oh 101. <clears throat> uh a fan day this past Friday that I used on there and, and I'm gonna just make them on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro plus the ones that I didn't get a chance to use on Dueling Network I'm gonna be using on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro as well it's a couple that I was still working on that I never got a chance to test out so you know you guys can see me test out some new things some new ideas that I had on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro so yeah and of course fan day starts at 4 p.m to 7 p.m. Central and it ends at 7 p.m. this is Central Time so you have to see when that is for you you know I know Eastern Time is, is an hour ahead so you know like it'll be like 5 p.m. you know so like when it starts um in um like Mountain Standard Time is like an hour behind and then uh 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 Pacific time is like two hours behind so yeah like you guys have to just see when that is for you guys my time is central so I have to do it when it's convenient so I have to get on those you know sites when it's convenient for me but I also try to do it for you when I know that you know there's some people who may be in school or and they may not be able to you know play or whatever so like I try to do it when I know that they're out of school and they're just coming home and they just want to, you know, have some fun online or whatever. Hey, I, I just try to make it convenient for everybody. So it starts at 4 p.m. Central Time and it ends at 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, that's every Friday until further notice, you know, that is the regular time. And of course, I switch back and forth from Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro to Dueling Network and this week it will be on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. That's Friday, May 3rd. I'll see you guys on there. So it's a very short agenda this week. Um, not too much on the agenda, you know what I'm saying? Like just the typical new gameplay footage from Echoes of Time, new Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 card review videos, and uh, if anything inspires me, I'll, I'll pretty much do some like some new tip videos or some new Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 uh, um, discussion videos. Um... And I'll see you guys on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Friday, Mar May 3rd. I'm going to say March. May 3rd for the Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 Fan Day week weekly event that I host. So, that being said, that's everything. Um, I hope you, you guys are ready. Because I'm ready um, to get this, this week started. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys then for Echoes of Time. Until then, peace.